there's a number of ways to stop a conversation cold. One of them, when uh, you're traveling and you're asked what you do is to tell me you're a financial advisor. <laughs> Another way is to just ask a group of friends, do you ever worry you might outlive your retirement income? The response is likely to be nervous laughter. It doesn't occur to most people to even seriously consider this possibility. The greatest financial risk for depleting retirement resources is an unexpected and lengthy stay in a long-term health care facility, that is, something like a nursing home or an assisted living center. Common estimates say that about 50% of older adults will need long-term care at some point in their lives. And if you're over 65, the odds shoot up to 70%. Long-term care, it's expensive. One reason is that the demand for long-term care outstrips the supply. This means there are often long waiting lists to get into independent living, assisted living, or nursing care facilities. Most of the facilities in my town run from months on a waiting list, uh, say for a studio unit, to years for larger, more spacious units. Not surprisingly then, a question I often hear is, Rick, what do you think about long-term care insurance? Also, the initials used are LTCI. Well, if you have a net worth of over $3 million, you can probably afford to spend down your retirement nest aid to cover your long-term health care needs. Since the care is not affordable for most Americans, it's a risk that many need to insure against. Unfortunately, the percentage of Americans that have long-term care insurance is just small fraction of those who are likely to need it. According to the American prospect, The Collapse of Long-Term Care Insurance by Alexander Salmon, written on October 20, 2020, says that fewer than one in 30 Americans and only about 7% of those over 50 own a long-term care insurance policy. Why do so few people have long-term care insurance when the need is so great? The number one reason is the policies are exorbitantly expensive. Uh, What's contributing to this? Low interest rates, low lapse rates, people are holding on to their policies, uh, and rising Longevity costs, they've all driven premiums high enough and that the annual number of people purchasing long-term care insurance has fallen over 90% from its peak in 2002 of uh, 750,000 policies a year to 57,000 in 2018, over 90% reduction. According to a report by Michael Kitsis, just a small variation in the actuarial assumptions can have a significant impact on premiums. For example, he says it's estimated that as little as a 1% change in interest rate correlates to a 15% required change in premiums to keep the long-term care insurance actuarially sound. Also, having a 1% lapse rate instead of a 5% lapse rate can increase future claims for an insurer by as much as 50%. So if you think uh, when interest rates are around 1% and today let's just take 7%, that's a 6% increase, 6% 6 times 15%, right there is a 90% increase in premiums alone. Well, these statistics became very real to my wife and me this week. We received a notice of another premium increase for our modest 
long-term care policy that will pay only 50% of the cost of a nursing home. The cost on this policy is going to go from $3,300 a year to $8,600 a year over the next two years. That's an increase of 160%. Purchasing a new policy with the same terms told would cost even more. When we purchased the policies in 2007, the annual premium was just $17.50 a year. So the 18-year cost increase is just shy of 400%. Now, given the cost, there is little wonder why only 7% of Americans over 50 have long-term care insurance, even though 70% of those over 65 are going to need long-term care. Because this insurance is out of reach for most people, having a personal plan on how you are going to provide long-term care for yourself becomes crucial. So how do you go about putting together a long-term care plan? Knowing how long you may live is just one of the variables to consider. And next week, we're going to dive into the specifics of putting together your own long-term health care plan. Thanks for joining me.